Well, let's talk. I'm Dave Delgado. Welcome to KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. I'll get you some information on how you can walk away with $10,000 by joining KUAM's March Madness Bracket Busters in just a bit. But first off, your local sports. Check it out. The Father Duenas Friars and Ukudu Bulldogs took to the UOG Fieldhouse for this year's IAAG Boys High School Basketball Championship game. Friars on offense, number one Bruce Murrow hits the three-point shot to put FD on board first. Ukudu's Jedu Antonio with the ball backs his way inside the paint and goes glass for two of his team-high 12 points. Jeremiah Titano setting up at the free-throw line gets the pass from Javier Dimla. Titano put up eight points for FD. The Friars went on to win 37-35 for their first title since 2006. In the third-place game, it was the Guam High Panthers beating JFK 72-68. This year's Payless Kick the Fat 5K was a huge success thanks to all the volunteers and runners who came out and supported the run. The event saw well over 4,000 plus runners hit the course for a chance at walking away with a $500 gift certificate courtesy of Payless Supermarkets for the first overall male and female finisher. There was a fireworks display at the start of the race with music lined up throughout the course. Crossing the line first was Derek Mandel with a time of 15.44 followed by first overall female finisher Stephanie Clark with a time of 1958. Both runners went home with the $500 gift certificates. There was also a community health fair and a bunch of vendors handing out drinks and fruits along with other goodies for the kids and participants after the race. Proceeds from the run went to Erica's House of Hope, Sanctuary Inc., and Guma Mami. Turning to high school rugby championship highlights from the GW field, the George Washington Geckos took the title for the girls tackle varsity division, beating the Academy Cougars 17-10. With the win, the Lady Geckos are now three-time defending champions of the league. Marissa Mariano scored the game's first try, followed by teammate Dione Kitigua, who made it 12-0 GW at the half. Gianna Leon Guerrero scored the Geckos' last try, while late scores from Isabel Flores and Ladera Lynn kept the Academy Cougars from being shut out in the championship game. The GW boys followed up with a big game against the Father Duenas Friars in the cup finals. The Geckos earned the 14-0 shutout win in front of their home crowd. The championship was the first in school history for the boys' program. GW finished the season perfect at 8-0, with Jacob Bamba putting the team on his shoulders, scoring two tries. The game was physical and technical on both sides of the ball, but in the end, the Geckos were able to take advantage of good field position to punch in tries. In bowling news, Jay Leon Guerrero won his second monthly Budweiser King of the Lanes title for 2014. Leon Guerrero defeated top seed Ray St. Nicholas in the monthly finals 223 to 166. Sean Navalana took advantage of numerous errors by top seed Jay Sang Lee to earn his first Budweiser Prince of the Lanes title in 2014. 148 plus 28 to 126 plus 32. The next Budweiser King and Prince of the Lanes will be held on Sunday, April 27th at 11 in the morning at Central Lanes. Don't forget to log on to KUAM.com for a chance to win weekly prizes along with the grand prize of $10,000. Sign up at KUAM.com slash Bracket Busters. Register for a new account or sign up with your Facebook information. Fill out as many brackets as you like by Friday morning. Get points in each round based on the number of wins you accumulate. Perfect brackets will win you $10,000. Well, that's going to do it for sports. We're back right after this.